Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your fourth HTML tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be a little bit more about fonts. Um, in the last tutorial we learned how to uh, change the font color and as well, as well as some of the formatting like making it bold, italic, strike through, stuff like that. But in this tutorial I figured we'll elaborate more on the fonts and we're going to learn how to change the font type or face um, that is like changing it to Times New Roman, stuff like that. And we're going to learn how to change the size. So uh, one of the things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up our HTML web page here. Um, I already, again, went ahead and saved it before. I called it more font, more font formatting, and then um, I opened it up in Firefox. Uh, so right now we're on a blank page here. So we'll quickly set up our HTML page. Uh, we learned how to do this in the previous couple tutorials. So if you check those out, you should be pretty good on how to do this. So at our title, and we'll call this more font formatting. And we'll end our title here, and then we'll add our body. So anything between these body tags, again, is going to be what's output to the screen. Right now we have nothing on the screen, and let me just refresh. And that's because we haven't entered anything in our body. Um, so we do, however, have the title, which is more font formatting. So um, we're just going to enter in a line of text here, just a plain line of text, no text formatting or anything like that, no paragraph tags. So we'll call this this is a plain old, old line of text without any formatting applied to it. So when we come over here and refresh, you'll just see this plain old line of text without any formatting applied to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the size of it or uh, learn how to change the size of any parts of it. And we're going to learn how to change the font face or the type of font that we're using. So the first thing we're going to learn how to do is change the font face because uh, sometimes you might not want to have the whatever the default font is for your browser or computer. So one way to do that is to again use the font tag, which we learned about previously, which looks like this, and it has a closing tag. But the font tag, um, unlike some other tags like the HTML tag or the the body tag, while those tags do have the capabilities to support attributes, the more or less we're going to use the font attribute, the font tag, and apply attributes to that pretty much more than we're going to with the other tags for right now. So we can apply, you learn that we can apply font color equals and then um, quotation marks. We can also apply font face equals and then quotation marks. And again for the close tag we don't need to have any of this face stuff. Uh, it'll, it knows to just close off this. So, because this is the uh, what it's actually closing off here. So what we're gonna do is font face, uh, we can change it to let's say uh, let's go over here to W3 Schools where they have some information about it. Um, and this just has all the information about the font tag. I was checking it out here and I figured I'd show it to you guys. Um, these are all the different attributes you can have for the font tags, including class, uh, DIR, ID, language, style, and title. Um, but the font face tag is the, the color is the tag that we're going to be using. We already learned about the color tag, but what we're going to be learning about here is how to change basically the, the, the font, the actual font itself, like what it looks like. Um, and I just came over here because I didn't know how to spell Verdana. So we're going to copy this in here. And we're going to paste it right into our our font tag. So any text that we have here, actually let me just apply a space, is going to be in the Verdana font instead of whatever the regular font is for our computer here. So we'll say this is font being displayed in the Verdana font. And when we refresh, when we come on over here to our page, you'll notice that this font is definitely different than this font here, and it, as it's being displayed with the Verdana font instead of whatever this happens to be, maybe Ariel or Times New Roman. So let's say we want to change it to Times New Roman. All I need to do is type in Times New Roman. Come over here, and you'll notice it's being displayed in Times New Roman. Uh, maybe there's no space, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, if you want to use Comic Sans MS, you come on over here. Oops. I'm not sure if we need it all lowercase or not. Just one more try. Oh, we had it right the first time. Comic Sans MS. 
All right, so if we refresh, okay, we had the font being displayed in Comic Sans MS, saying it's for Dana, but it's really not. So uh, I guess you just entered the font in the way it was supposed to. I didn't really look into this before I started the tutorial. Um, and it's been a while since I've changed the font face. So that's basically how you change the font face. And again, it's really important to make sure you have the closing font tag here just to be sure um, that you don't, that no, no text underneath gets changed as well because um, you might not want that to happen. So let's just really quickly change this to Comic Sans MS. And then this is how we're going to uh, change the color, of the, uh, the size of the font. So let's say you want some font that isn't as big as as it appears on the screen. Let's say you want like a small font for like a, I don't know, like a disclaimer or something. So what we would, what we would use is the same font tag, but instead of face or color, we would use size. And again, we'd use our quotation marks because those are those are uh, what our size is going to be. Uh, while it might not be important in HTML and other languages, it is. So it's kind of a, a good practice to get into. So we can use font size. We can use a number. Um, like for example, if we use font size 2 and enter this is text with a font size of 2 and we come over here and refresh you'll notice that it's pretty small and you can probably use this for I don't know a disclaimer or, or maybe if you can change your font size for um, a tool that allows users to select what font size they're changing it to so you know stuff like that we can change the font size again to 1 just give you an example of what it looks like and again that's really small uh, font size right there and let's say we want to make it rather large we just go up to size 4 Oops, I keep hitting the find button by accident. It gets pretty big compared to the normal size text, normal size Comic Sans, and now this is normal. This is size four, um, normal text. So, uh, see, so we want to say find font size six, refresh, and it gets it just gets really big. So, you can play around with that, try different numbers, whatever. Let's say we want to do ten, just to show you how big stuff can get, and it, it gets pretty pretty big. So. And that's uh, how you can play around with the font size. Um, we'll just apply the regular font tag here. Font size of regular. And again, our text is right here. It's regular. So you can actually combine um, the attributes in a, a font tag. So let's say we want to have size 2 Comic Sans MS font. All we would need to do is uh, just add the size attribute to our font tag here. And we still have the same closing font tag because it closes everything in this uh, this beginning font tag. But we can say size 2, save it up, come on over here, and you notice that the Comic Sans font got a little bit smaller. It's uh, you know not as big and not as showy as, as it previously was, and it's kind of about the same size as this. So that's basically just a tutorial on how to uh, change font size, colors, and stuff like that. We can add a color in here if we want to. Color equals blue. And again, now we have three attributes within our font tag. And uh, this is possible as if you don't want to have to keep nesting font tags, like font, color, and then we can have a font, you know, stuff like that. We can just have one font tag that does it all. And that can change the, the, um, the face, the size, and the color all in one tag and all with one closing tag. It's, it makes things a lot simpler than having to create three separate font tags and then having to nest them. So what we can do here, we refresh, you'll see that this tag has three different attributes. It's a size 2 tag, it's blue, and it's using the Comic Sans MS font. So feel free to play around with these uh, different attributes of the font tag. Um, you can apply, combine them with different spacing and bold and stuff like that. And um, just see what you can get. Um, I have some tutorials, the previous tutorials are on that. So if you missed those, you can check them out and see what it's all about. And uh, again, be sure to check out the W3 Schools website as well as the Tizag website. They're both very good resources for different font tags and faces and which browsers support what, so it's always interesting to check that stuff out as well. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.